the victors valiant, the conquering heroes, and they call home the big house. Bathed in maize and blue, welcome to Ann Arbor, home of the Michigan Wolverines. This is anything but a run-of-the-mill early season matchup, a clash of top ten teams as these two will get their oil checked early. As we'll see the number nine team in the country, the Clemson Tigers, taking on the fifth-ranked team in the land, the Michigan Wolverines. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Tigers ready to get this thing started and open the season. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Wolverines offense is on the field for the first time today. And here he comes, and you may think that you can take a wide receiver out of the game plan, but Jesse, with this guy, he sort of believes, I'm him, I'm the dude. Yeah, and he gives defensive coordinators nightmares. And the pressure gets there, and down he goes at the 18. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. They'll put the tight end in motion. To throw, it's Brady. Yeah. Finds a soft spot in the middle. And they pick up just a few on that completion. So already a challenge on this opening drive. It's third and nine. From the gun, wants to pass. He'll try to do it himself. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. The Wolverines are in the hurry up. Nice job, nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. You know this sophomore has a big arm, and there were some revolutions on that one. Well, that's a really nice job surveying the field and delivering an accurate throw. You know, when I think back to Michigan quarterbacks, I think of guys like Elvis Burrow or Tom Brady, Jim Harbaugh. Brian Greasy, guys that could hurt you throwing the ball from the pocket, surveying the field, reading defenses, and making quick decisions. This guy has the ability to do all of those things. And the defense snows him under after a very short gain. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? One of the offshoots of expansion, particularly in the Big Ten, was how viable could the ACC remain? And it just sort of ramps up the stakes when they meet on the field. Yeah, I think all of this conference realignment, all the money talk, the loss of rivalries, the, but it's the haves and the have-nots. And, and let's be honest, the SEC and the Big Ten are the big two gorillas, right? Anytime you can make a statement and dent these two big powerhouse conferences, go do it. I think the ACC, too, is going to play with a chip on his shoulder. Back in conference realignment, it was the best four programs from the Pac-12 that all chose the Big Ten and not the ACC. So this one will be interesting. With the run on first and goal, he'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Now on second and goal. They'll keep it on the ground right up the gut, looking for six. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. On third and goal, they'll try to throw it in. Trying to get to him. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. From the left hash, and this distance ought to make that angle pretty easy to handle. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before. And here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drive. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy with that. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. 
This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Picks his way and gets four out to the 27. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. Nice job to get it past the sticks and they get him down at the 35. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Out of the gun. The running back has it. He's there to make the stop. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. As college football evolves, guys, and players have more rights, and they capitalize on name, image, and likeness, and teams are in different conferences, maybe the biggest thing and the thing that keeps coaches up at night, dealing with the transfer portal. Because they got to make sure that everybody in their locker room is happy. And oftentimes, you're re-recruiting your own players and trying to keep the Wolves at bay and the phone calls that are coming in from other programs trying to steal your guys. It is not easy, probably as difficult as it's ever been, David, to be a head coach now with the transfer pool. It is, and think about players, man. If I'm not happy, if I'm not getting the run I want, like, I can just leave. I can go get some, go somewhere else. I can get paid by another opportunity. So I think players always having their, having their eyes to that portal, looking at a better destination, makes it miserable for coaches. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. This offense has a first and ten. They are flat bailed out by the defensive penalty. It's complete on the right side. Showing off that power as he plows ahead to the 38. This offense has a second down play. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion, and the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. There's an idea that Clemson can only run the ball when they sort of trick you and get you. Just can't pull the trigger, and the quarterback is sacked at the 41. They've got some serious work to do to keep that last one from messing up this drive. Second and 19. Pressure coming. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Haynes. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. So the offense accepts the roughing the passer penalty and they get a new set of downs. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. He wants it all. Fires a bullet, now oh, it's picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And the senior just took that one out of the air and sends it the other way. That's a decision the quarterback would love to have back. Down here in this area of the field in the red zone, these windows, they close so quickly. Everything just has to be done a little bit faster. You gotta be so much more precise. And as a result of being late on the throw, they turn it over in the red zone. He slings it deep to the left, and it's incomplete. They were looking for the huge gain on first down. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Makes the grab on the left, and not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Third and short, they've got them backed up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. Going to try to get it himself. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. And the Wolverines will line up to punt it away. This is why third down is so difficult for quarterbacks, because the defense substitutes. They put faster guys on the field, and they've got all their different exotic looks they've been game planning all week for, some things you haven't seen on film yet. And it confuses your offensive line. It confuses you. And you're out here just trying to make plays, trying to do something right to get a first down. Wasn't able to gain a lot there. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. He'll keep it himself. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. 
They're bringing heat. Trying to make magic with his feet. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. Third down play from the gun. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. The Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Been showing them the run. Now they'll throw it. Grab behind the line. It's Haynes. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Release to the back. It's on target and complete. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. NC State is piling up the points here today. They've opened up a massive lead in what's shaping up to be the kind of blowout neither side will soon forget. They're up by 18 over East Carolina. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now. And any updates, you'll see them here, guys. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. It's caught downfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Back to throw, it's Brady. He's going to fire deep. He caught it. They will score. Touchdown, Wolverines. And this offense gets on the board and the first passing touchdown of the season, and I feel pretty confident saying the first of many. This offense looks like they're in a good rhythm, and this passing attack's going to be hard to stop. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they get it into the end zone on a 36-yard touchdown pass. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. That's reeled in. It's Randall. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. On second down, just keeps firing. Getting some heat. He got past the sticks and slides to a stop, but there is a flag on the play. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Looking to throw on second down. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. The defense uses their second timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. They've got them pinned deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Clemson will send the punt team out. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. He wants to throw. Feeling some heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. I love the defensive effort there. They didn't get him right away. They stayed after him. He was scrambling, going backwards. They get the sack on the first play of the drive. Leaves it with the back. 
And he's taken down after a short gain, and that'll do it for us here in the first half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, it's tough to beat the pageantry and quality of play so far today in Ann Arbor. And we can't get very far into this halftime breakdown without talking about that stud linebacker. The kid's been everywhere all at once through two quarters. From clogging gaps to causing turnovers, he's been a one-man gang. Public enemy number one for that opposing sideline. Going to the run to start this second half. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Using the quick game. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. It's a game of first downs, and they've got one out to their own 37. And the Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. Caught in the backfield, it's Brown. And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. Here comes the offense on second down. They're trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carrier on that one. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. Yeah, and, that, and that was good defense again, and unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense, or listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. So Clemson is lining up to punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch called for, but there is a flag on the play. We'll have to sort it out. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Caught behind the line. It's Haynes. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Last couple of plays, the offense seems to be just one step ahead, David. Yeah, and I'm gonna have to do something to disrupt the timing, the rhythm. I gotta do something that they are not expecting, because right now they got the run and they got the pass working, so this defense, they're gonna have to find something new to kind of confuse this offense. On the ground, it's Haynes. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe, second and seven. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Hand off from the gun. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physicaled. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. They're trying to get to it. Rush coming in hot, and they got him at the 29. You got to give the defense tons of credit because we know how much speed this quarterback has. That time you saw the pursuit, they were able to bring him down for a big loss on the sack. And they decide to trot out the kicker. And this will be a bit of a challenge, a 46-yard attempt from the right hash. And he missed it. No good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that get that one positive play and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. Safe completion on the screen. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. The Wolverines will punt it away on fourth down. Yeah, and I think if I'm a QB, I like the decision. I get it to my, my running back who's really good after the catch and really good with the ball in his hands. But the defense did the job. They got him on the ground. They gave up some yards, but they forced the fourth down. He did a great job finding some running room on that return and was able to set up the offense with good field position. Pass the first down marker and still running. 
That's why they love to feed this senior running back. He'll find those extra yards. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. They've built a cushion. They've got a nice lead. Now the task is finish the deal as you take a look at the third quarter stats. Oh, he should have had that one right in his hands, and he couldn't hang on. Typically, he makes that play. It'll be second down. To the air. It's Klubnik. Quickly out to the tight end. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. You got to attack the sidelines. You got to throw first downs. You got to keep this thing moving vertically down. Here comes the rush, and they've got him wrapped up at the 28. And they are coming out for what will be a huge field goal attempt. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. All tied up here in the fourth quarter. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. You got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space. See if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. Flips it out in the flat. Oh, it's loose. And as a defense, you just want to steal some possessions, create some turnovers. You force the fumble. But, man, what a break for the offense to fall back on it. Those are, those are moments that you just get a little bit frustrated because it's just it's the luck of a bounce. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. And that's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. Makes a grab, and he's dragged down. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Looking to throw, it's Brady. Shoots it to the left. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds incomplete. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Coming after him. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. The clock stops as we have reached the final two minutes of the game. And the Wolverines will call on their punt team. And the ball comes to rest right there. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step two here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Looking to go up top on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Randall. They're at their fastest tempo trying to get off this third down play. I think in this situation, two minutes trailing late, I think you got to be thrown to the sticks every time. I don't know if these short completions are going to get it done. You're just not. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. 
Clemson will send the punt team out. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Slips through the line. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. Line gets set, first down. Back to pass, it's Brady. Showing the arm strength to the left. And he hauls it in inside the 30. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And a good, solid pickup there before the defense knocks him down. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. From the gun, give on the inside. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Defense calls a quick timeout there, perhaps a little confusion about what call they were in. They'll try to bully their way for the first. The Wolverines get it past the sticks. The defense calls a timeout to put together a strategy. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After losing a couple on that last play here, second and 12. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Facing third and long from the 21 and hoping not to settle for a field goal. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Absolutely perfect. They have taken the lead in the final seconds, guys, and the celebration has erupted on the sidelines. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. They make the stop, the coverage team up to the challenge as they put a stop to the return and an end to the game. Guys, that one was a ton of fun to call, and the players, a lot of game.